So, um, yeah, I've lived here for a couple of years. We don't, I, don't know, I don't know the imperial system, you know. I only know the metric system. I only taught the metric system in Australia. Too new of a country, right? And over here, it's like half-half. It fucks with my head. And um, someone made fun of me because I didn't know the simple conversion between inches and centimetres. But I've never used inches in my life, right? You don't use inches in Australia. The only time I've used inches before that I can think of is for Subway sandwiches and big dicks, that's it. <laughs> for some reason, they've decided to keep big dicks in the imperial system in Australia. <laughs> Everything else is metric except for Subway and big dicks, that's it. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm guessing big dicks are always measured in the imperial system, you know? You never hear anyone talk about a 20 centimetre dick. <laughs> They're always talking about them in inches, and um, I don't know inches, so I'm going to convert back to Subway sandwiches if I want to figure out the length of a big dick. Yeah? That's what I'm going to do. Convert to sandwiches. I remember when I was at school and the movie Boogie Nights came out. My friend came to school and he goes, oh, I saw this movie called Boogie Nights, and it's about a porn star called Dirk Diggler, and he's got a 13 inch penis. And I remember thinking, that's fucking, that, that's bigger than a foot long sub, you know? <laughs> it's, it's like a foot long sub and a bit of a six inch sub as well, so. You know, pretty fucking, pretty big sandwich, and um. <laughs> if, you, if you don't know what you're talking about, you can throw around these terms in life. You'll say 10 inch dick, 12 inch dick. Put it in the sandwiches, it's fucking way bigger than you thought, you know? They're, they're big fucking sandwiches, that's what I'm saying. They're giant. Um, um, it's a lot colder in the UK than what I'm used to, but uh, it's okay because I own a coat over here. And um, I'd never owned a coat before in my life, right? I had seen coats on TV and... Um, <laughs> I'd seen celebrities wearing coats, and yeah, now I own a coat, and um, I see what all the fuss about, really, yeah, lovely article of clothing, very fancy, very proud to own the coat, I must say. The only problem I'd say with the coat, or, or in winter time in general, I've got too many pockets now. I'm not used to having this many pockets, I've never had this many before, you know? in, in Sydney, most of the time I had four pockets, you know? You get, you get two front pockets, uh, two back pockets, um, you might have a top pocket, you know, but you're crazy if you're using that pocket. And, um, this is what my coat's got, right? The coat on one side, on, on the outside, two pockets on the outside, pocket there and a pocket there. It's got another two pockets on the other side, a pocket there and a pocket there. It's got an inside right pocket there, and it's got an inside left pocket there. And then I had the coat for two months, and after two months, I found more pockets. You know? <laughs> There's more pockets down here, little secret ones down there. So yeah, the coat's got a total of eight pockets. Right? And now I'm up to a total of 12 pockets. Tripled the pockets, you know? It's a big increase if you're not ready for it. A big increase in storage space. It is. It's like someone turned up your house with more drawers, you know? So use the drawers. And it doesn't stop there. Sometimes when it gets really cold, I'll put a hooded jumper on underneath your coat. And that's got another two pockets there. So now, at any time in winter, I could be looking at having 14 pockets in this country. 14. 14 pockets is so many pockets. I don't give a fuck where you're from, that's too many pockets. 14. I'm pretty sure I don't even own 14 things in total. <laughs> and if I did, I wouldn't carry them around with me all at the same time. Sometimes I've lost my wallet before here and it's been fucking on me. I don't know how to do I've lost it on myself. Um, Sometimes my phone rings, I can't get it in time. I can feel myself vibrating, I know it's here somewhere. I'm going to take off my clothes to try and get the phone. Uh, my whole set's about pockets, so start laughing please. Um, I haven't told you the best pocket, my favourite pocket. My favourite pocket of all the pockets, I never even mentioned it earlier, um, this little pocket here, little cutie pie of the pocket, this one. 
I like this pocket. I like it. I, I like it. Few fans, few fans. I like, I like this pocket because uh, it's a pocket in a pocket. You know, that's what I like. Oh, what I like is the pocket gets its own pocket. You know, that's what's cool. Like if the big pocket's full, they'd be like, hey, put put it in my pocket. You know. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> How jealous must he be? Nothing. And this guy's living it up with his own personal pocket. What a time, what a time to be alive for the right pocket.